Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to take a look into today on FIBA 22 Ultimate Team and how I expect the market to move in a couple of different places. First off, with Division Rivals Rewards coming out very soon after this video is released, I want to talk about how we might see the market rise today a little bit for a short period of time. What's a, what is a market rise? Do we know what that is? We've had market drops for like the past two or three. Do we know what a market right? We'll talk about that, how it could be a short and sweet, little bit of an uptick on the market after Rivals Rewards today. And then also talk about the promo coming on Friday, which is expected to be Road to the Knockouts. Team number two, as you can see, when they brand this stuff here with like team one, and we see team one on their graphics and on their images posted, it makes us think about the potential of a team two that could be coming out after team one and that seems to be the new way they're doing these promos or campaigns as they call them they do two weeks in a row with two teams so we're going to talk a little bit more about that today just the state of the market as well but before we get into that i just want to have a little heart to heart me and you as the watcher of this video i know that it's tough right now in this game i know the market kind of sucks it is deflating it is disappointing and it's, you know, kind of maddening sometimes to get on the game and see the cards maybe you have bought for your team, cards that you have bought as investments or tr cards you've even tried to trade with because you thought they were going to go up for whatever reason. And to see those prices go down over the past couple days, this market just seems dead. It seems quiet and like nobody wants to buy, right? And we feel that a lot more often this year in this game. I put this tweet out yesterday on, on Twitter just kind of for bans, right? I said, are you enjoying your FIBA 22 market experience? 68% of voters said they are not enjoying their experience. Now, of course, I asked this question at a time where, you know, obviously more people have been losing some coins this week. Join the club if you have been, right? All of us have been doing it, myself included. And, you know, it's just, it's just the way the market is at this time. But I'm here to tell you that it's not going to always be this way. You're not going to have prices dropping every single day. We will see the market rise once again. And it's really easy to complain, to be mad at how the differences in this year's market make things work in this game. But I have one little bit of encouragement for you. Honestly, all of us play this game because we love football, right? And this game is the only game that is out there that does a gr good, I almost said great, a good job at kind of representing football and, you know, the players that we love and kind of intertwining its own aspects of, you know, like the ultimate team, building your own team. Like FIFA is cool, right? FIFA is cool. So I just want to encourage you to have fun. Whatever it is on this game that makes you have the most fun, try to focus on that in the times where this market kind of sucks and where you're losing coins on cards and where, uh, you know, things aren't necessarily going your way or you put a card on your team and it's down 20,000 coins, right? Like if it's a Bruno Fernandez or a, a gold Pogba or something like that. Like I would just, again, right now in this market with what's going on, focus on what makes you happy, whether it's trying players out that are released with new promos, new SBCs, new objectives, whether it's, you know, flipping cards on the market. That's where I get a lot of enjoyment, right? Even when card prices go down, I just love talking about supply and demand and what makes the market and what makes things move on this game because of, you know, people using cards, trying cards. So whether it's, again, trying players, being on the market, doing SBCs, doing objectives, grinding packs and opening packs like with league SBCs when those come out or like the 75 plus player picks. That's my little encouragement to you is just focus on what makes you have fun, right? Because when you do a lot of that, all the other stuff that is, you know, the losing the coins, the market being the way that it is, being just different this year, we're adapting to it, we're learning how it works, right? This game's only been out for everybody for like three weeks, right? We're still learning a lot at how this market is going to work this year. So just again, I would encourage you to focus on having fun because that's going to make some of these things like, you know, prices going down that aren't that big of a deal in the end game of this game of FIFA 22. They're not going to matter that much, and it's going to help you keep your side on what matters the most, and that's just having fun. So, again, that's my little heart-to-heart -heart talk. Um, also, let's move into, again, this market and talk about this game a little bit. Check your club. Check your club for some gold. Now, my club's pretty bare because I've been doing player picks, uh, but I had a Spanish center back, Bostinza, in my club that I had packed. Guys, 3,000 coins. A lot of cards are up on this game right now because of a SBC that was released yesterday called the clash of the titans sbc it had high chemistry requirements basically you have to turn in like a full uh full league 
full nation with like different leagues inside of it. So you have a lot of players in the game right now that are inflated in price. Now this might change a little bit of rewards um, and we'll talk about rewards in a second, but just check your clubs, right? Check your clubs for some cards that might be selling for over a thousand coins that are usually like, you know, 650 coins or less. That's a little bit of a, a PSA, a little announcement uh, for right now on this game. But before we get into the rewards talk, let's talk about tomorrow, right? Road to the knockout team number two because of course the way that we know ea doing these campaigns as they call them or promos as we call them when we see this team one branding right we've gotten used to this last year in fiba 21 they like to do team one and then team two so i'm expecting fully to have a team two road to the knockouts released on friday tomorrow it's probably going to be a same team of about 11 players maybe a mini release on sunday it seems like they like to do mini releases now on Sundays. They did it with ones to watch. They didn't tell us that they were gonna do it with Road to the Knockouts, but they did. So I would expect to see another one of those uh, this weekend as well. Some people are like, okay, Nate, but how do you know Team 2 is coming? Well, technically we don't. It's not confirmed just yet. Today could be a loading screen Thursday. Since we had a loading screen last week for Team 1 uh, on Wednesday and then another one on Thursday, we might have some hints dropped today on the loading screen after 6 p.m. So that would be one thing that I'd be looking out for today on this game. Now, some of you guys are asking, well, how could they put these cards out if you know some of the wins have already counted? Again, if you read the fine print here, it says, Road to the Knockout items are live items that have potential to earn two dynamic upgrades throughout the group stage of each tur tournament. And again, the upgrades are based on if the team qualifies and if their club wins three of the four remaining group stage matches. So again, if they release cards from obviously these clubs have all played or after today on Thursday, they will have all played their match day three, right? So out of their last four group stage match days, the first one will have already happened, but technically, you know, cards that are released on Friday will just assume whatever has happened this this week. Like let's say a Manchester United player is released uh, to, on Friday, then they would already have one win per se because of United's win yesterday. Um, you know, in the Champions League. So here's a quick little prediction I want to take a look at. This is by Donk, uh, Elitage, and Harrison Design. I'll take this uh, and put this down in the com or in the description down below if you want to take a look at this yourself. Bruno, Llorente, Werner, Ocampos. I think Bellingham might not be applicable now since he's in Team of the Week, but Mbabu, Araujo, Manolas, Spinozola, Schmeichel, Ben Yedder. There's a lot of potential, and I think I think the one thing I'm excited about with Team 2 of Road to the Knockouts that could be coming tomorrow is in Team 1, we didn't have a lot of the big clubs. No Manchester City, no Manchester United, right? No Dortmund players, nobody from Chelsea, right? There's a lot of clubs that were, you know, I guess you could say, left out of this promo uh, the first time around. Now, we had Liverpool, we had Spurs in the Conference League, we had Bayern, we had Milan and Inter and PSG. But I still feel like there's a lot of clubs that were kind of left out. Barcelona, right? Is there any Barcelona in this prediction? Uh, no. Oh, yes. Araujo. So I feel like there's plenty of clubs that could have um, be ha could be represented in Team 2 of Road to the Knockout. So I just kind of wanted to point that out. Uh, and again, this would be something that I would expect these cards to be in packs from Friday until Wednesday. They like to do that with these promo. So that's what I'm expecting for Road to the Knockouts Team 2. Just wanted to talk about that a little bit going forward uh, because I do think it's very possible that we will see a loading screen uh, today. Now, the only thing that's not hype about that and that kind of kills the hype on some of these live cards as well uh, is, is the fact that there are no more after today. Today is the last Europa League and Conference League games for basically two weeks. So after today, there is not going to be any more live games that will you know count towards the win progression or match days that will count towards these cards getting closer to qualifying for the knockout stage um, until basically two weeks from now. So a lot of these cards, yes, are still live. Um, and that's going to play into a lot of things. But one thing we have to be careful with is that it's not like these games are happening next week as well um, for the cards that are released. So just kind of keep that in mind. The cards that will be released on uh, basically tomorrow are almost just like in informs or promo cards in a sense. And then, you know, the hype around the upgrades will be coming uh, in a couple of weeks when the games actually restart. But I do think that um, transitioning into talking about today and this market and what's going on right now. I do think that you're going to start to see because these cards from Team 1 
are going out of packs, I do think it is possible that you might start to see some people investing in these cards, you can see that the prices are down on basically all of these cards on this market right now, whether it's cards that won uh, like Real Madrid and Rodrigo, they won handily earlier this week. Rodrigo's card is down at the moment. It's like 230, 240,000 coins. He's kind of been dropping into this evening. You look at that Sun card. It was 1.1 mil yesterday. He's down at a million coins. You even look at cards like Mukiele, right? I do think that you might see these cards rise up a little bit on the market today after rewards because this is one of the last times that they will be in packs and ucl live aka road to the knockouts or road to the final cards from previous years are so well known for being cards that just rise well out of packs because they have that live upgrading potential uh and still not many i mean not all of these cards are of course uh, eligible for upgrades based on where their team stands in the group stage and doesn't look likely right for um, Mukiele to get upgraded but for a guy like Marquinhos being one of the premier center backs that is in this game and you know potentially getting a plus two upgrade by the end of this next month uh, there's still a decent amount of hype for these cards and they're really rare too I mean I know the supply this year is one thing we keep talking about is you know, higher than ever, more supply than ever. But these road to the final cards, road to the knockouts, their pack percentage is really, really low. And that makes them uh, favorites to kind of rise out of pack. So I do think you might see a few of these cards, specifically the ones that are the cheapest. I looked at that Traore. I looked at that Mukiele. You know, cards that I think could rise up a little bit today with people actually investing in them. Uh, Tonali, Vidal, Isak, Traore, Mukiele. Um, Robertson, Danjuma, right? Danjuma was like 40K all day yesterday. Right now he's 34,000 coins dropping post game. Now I'm not expecting huge rises on these cards and these cards are going to get supplied with marquee matchups SBCs that'll be coming out later in the day today, Tuesday, uh, you know, or sorry, Thursday, but you might see a few of these kind of go up in price a little bit. So if you want to try to fix in, you know, maybe a trade situation, sniping trade at like 20, 21K, you might be able to flip them for like 25, right? 20,000 coins for a right back in league on where the next best right back that is usable in that league is Hakimi, who does have way better links, but he's 160k. So I think that 20k, I bought a couple trailers and put them on my transfer list because I just think that that place in this game, the right back position for Traore and for Mugielli, these are both pretty cheap cards for where people need to upgrade the right back position um, and, you know, need some links with those leagues and with those nationalities for Mugielli. So I think that some of these cards could rise up. Vidal, again, Serie A hype is pretty real right now. Even some of your, like Robertson, this is the best prem left back in the game, to be completely honest. Liverpool look like they're going to get some upgrades for a card like this. And he's down like 10K. So that's a card you want maybe want to look at as well. Danjuma with the La Liga hype. Rodrigo with La Liga hype. Isak. Some of these guys have games today too, right? Europa League games today on Thursday. Diop, Isak, Traore, and Sonaldo all have games today on Thursday. So that's something to kind of keep a watch out for as well. Now, I'm not really investing for, you know, I bought Traore's at like 21,000 coins. I bought just a couple of them, right? And if they go up today, great. But I'm not investing for like a quick rise, right? I got these at 21K. I am investing for a quick rise. I'm not investing for like a long term um, or I'm, I'm not investing for these cards to go up to like 30K today. I don't think Traore is going to explode. You know, you know, I'm probably just going to wait this out, see what happens today. You know, if they go up 5,000 coins this morning, great. But if they don't, you know what? I might sell them next week if he goes up a little bit more, that kind of thing. Now, whereas with the rest of the market today, with Division Rivals rewards, um, I want to talk about Division Rivals rewards for a second. Everybody is still, I think, like thinking of Thursdays as like last year when we had a lot of packs being opened on Thursdays with Rivals and Champs rewards at the same time. It's just not the same, right? Take a look at my rewards that I'm going to be getting today from Division 5 Rank 2. Maybe I'll play one more game and get Rank 1. Probably not. But if I'm looking at these three options, I get an untradable 50k, a rare Electrum tradable and 6,000 coins. I get a tradable 50K and 12,000 coins or an untradable 50K and 23,000 coins. I'm probably taking from this, I'm probably taking the untradable 50K and the 23,000 coins. Um, I feel like just most people take the untradable packs from their division rivals rewards. I really feel like they do, especially as we get further on into the year as prices drop on a lot of those lower tier cards. Like remember in the early game, we talked about taking tradable rewards, right? I guess you could do the math here and could I make more, 
you know, this rare players pack tradable, would I make more from that than the the uh, the 11 more K that I would get if I took the untradable pack and a 23 K? I'm taking the untradable pack just because that's how I roll, right? If I'm going to pack something sick, I want it to be untradable. So I just feel like a lot of people are taking the untradable rewards from division rivals and they're getting coin boost as well. You looked at all of the different options here for rewards, you're getting coins. Now, usually we see a small rise on the market after rewards on Thursdays, but everybody sells like it's last year when we had a lot of supply. And that's the thing, right? We do have a little bit of demand always after rivals rewards on Thursdays because people go play their qualification matches um, to get into the weekend league. Uh, you know, they qualify for foot champs with the playoffs, right? But people sell these cards off. Like you're seeing some cards this evening that have just dropped off a little bit. So I'm keeping an eye on some of these meta, like, you know, some of these La Liga cards that I think, uh, or just cards in general that are just meta cards that people like to use that people will probably add to their squad if they get a coin injection, like guys, like I'm Div 5, right? Which a lot of people are Div 5 in this game. I get, what is it? It was like uh, 23,000 coins with the untradeable pack. Uh, and 23,000 coins, like that might be the difference between you buying, um, you know, like, are you having somebody like, let's say Lacroix in your team and then getting, you know, a, your pack, or maybe you have some coins saved up and having that extra 23K enables you to upgrade your center back to somebody like Kempembe today, or it just, you know, gives you a couple extra coins where you feel like you can go out and buy a card for your team to finish your squad off, make those couple upgrades that you need to make so that your, you know, champs playoffs are ready if you will. So that's why if you're looking on the market right now, pre rewards, uh, I would take a look at this market and I would take a look at some cards, you know, like uh, maybe the Orente, maybe the Bruno Fernandez, the De Bruyne cards that you have seen rise in the past couple of days, and you've seen them move around a lot on the market. Um, because they're hyped, right? Take the young was like 120 K earlier this week, Tuesday, 120 K he's dropped off. But this guy is a lot of hype. Because again, we continue to have La Liga links become very hype in this game with the Inaki Williams SBC, the Ansu Fati that was released yesterday. Also, watch out for this team of the week. Uh, Firmino was just like 110 and now he's 125. The, these cards are pretty rare. This week's team of the week does not have a lot of supply like last week's did because people didn't save their team of the week packs for today because the new team of the week wasn't going to be that good. And with not a ton of supply coming in tonight from um, the the reward supply since a lot of people take untradeable packs and it's just division rivals not foot champs and rivals uh you might see some of the team of the week cards that have been sold off like fati was 50k now he's 39 now i'm not going to try to invest with any of this stuff and I, I feel like a lot of people won't uh, as well because they have ptsd from team of the week four but you know some of these cards could be a little bit of a look you might see some small rises onto the market today that's what i wanted to point out is that you might see some small rises on the market today specifically on some of these meta gold cards, maybe a couple of the out of packs in forms and some of these road to the knockouts that people want to be putting into their teams, uh, you know, and or maybe investing in before they go out of packs. So that would be one thing I'd be watching out for today. Now, if you're trying to trade inside of that window, uh, I would be careful because also what we have today on the normal Thursday installment of this game is marquee matchups and that's going to be some pack supply and we know from what uefa marquee matchups did to this game earlier in this week which actually i need to finish marquee matchups which it's probably expensive right now because of how non-rare golds are up that was smart of me not to do this earlier in the week well rip anyways um we're gonna get a new marquee matchups spc today and that's gonna be more supply for the market so you'll probably see a nice quick rise on a lot of those meta players, short and sweet, nothing too insane, but then probably see the market dropping off a little bit again with that supply into Thursday night and into Friday morning. And tomorrow we're gonna talk about with some of those cards that are dropping off, where you wanna be looking on this market to find some deals. I mean, we're gonna look at the out of packs cards. We're gonna be looking at icons heroes and stuff like that as a lot of those, a lot of these special cards uh, are gonna wanna be where we kind of focus um, our, I guess you could say our energy for when we see a market drop for a potential rise coming on Friday night with of course, weekend league demand there. And a lot of people still waiting to buy their teams, uh, until Friday night, which I would still recommend, by the way, if, if you're somebody who's like, yo, Nate, should I be buying my cards right now before rivals? Cause they're going to go up a little bit. If I'm completely honest with you for most cards, 
I would probably still uh, I would probably still wait and I would probably not be buying cards for your team at this time. I think that they will get cheaper. Um, wow, Yorente, 165. That's already up like five to 7,000 coins from where he was earlier tonight when he was in the 150. So that's a GG, 164 right there. Um, I would still wait on a lot of these cards that are in packs golds because I think, again, with the promo pack supply that we're going to have on Friday, you're still going to see some prices go lower Thursday night into Friday. And during that supply on the Friday, um, promo packs opening and all that good stuff, then you'll see some lower price there. You'll be able to get involved and make some coins over the weekend to buy your squad and play uh, those foot champs games. So that's kind of what there is going on inside of this game right now at the moment. I know the market seems really dead, but I think we will get a little bit of life today. And I'm curious to see if we also get League One Player of the Month because the voting is over for that. And I think Thursdays last year was League One Player of the Month Day. So uh, whether it's Fofana, whether it is Lucas Paqueta, and the other guy's name who I can't pronounce, it's supposed to be Fofana today. So there's a lot of people that are kind of hyped for that Fofana card because he... Um, He'll have some very interesting links, like he'll link to Kessie on a weak link, uh, and his card could be pretty cracked because his gold card item, I don't think he has an inform. Maybe he does, actually. Um, it's not Wesley Fofana, it's the other one, but this Fofana guy, is it this guy? Yeah, no, maybe not. I, I don't even know who this Fofana guy is, but he's League One center mid, he's Ivory Coast, and he, he looks like if, they, if EA give him the right boost, he, this guy, Seiko Fofana right here, yes, he does have an inform. He could have a pretty cracked card. If you just give this card like a plus three, plus four, maybe they could boost him to three star skills, four star weak foot, high, high work rates. He might be a club 80 card today. If they release player of the month. So that'll be something I kind of keep an eye out for as well. But that's kind of what I'm expecting. I know this game feels really dead at the moment. But again, like we talked about earlier, have fun, right? Have fun. Maybe a slight market rise today on some of the most meta and popular cards that people will add to their teams um, today as they open their uh, rewards and get into playing some games for the weekly qualification. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. <laughs>